Black Castle Esport. Black Castle. Hello, I'm your digital host, CGI Mark 7, and I'm a digital esports reporter. From this really cool virtual set, I'm going to bring you monthly esports highlights. So let's trip a little light fantastic and get into the games. Oh, but you know what? Wait a minute. Where are my manners? You got snowmen around here. You got presents. And you're wondering what's going on. Well, guess what? Today we're announcing the fact that we are partnering up with the Sugar Gamers community, who is like super awesome because they do all this really cool geek culture, amazing stuff. And we're going to work with them to bring you our unique perspective on esports. We think this is super cool, super amazing. And you know, while we're at it, let's show you a little of the set. Like you know, we can have a little snow coming around, all the kind of fun stuff. Uh, we'd like to thank Live CGI for giving us this amazing virtual set to be able to do whatever we want and kind of show you and get into esports so that that's it i'm i'm cgi mark 7 this is black castle esports we're here today with the sugar gamers let's get into it black castle all right let's keep this train rolling when we look at 2018 what you really want to pay attention to is where are the gamers getting the money what are the rewards what is out there when you're playing the game yeah you're playing for fun but you want to make some money so you can really keep this thing up and really keep your sport career going we expected to see Dota 2 running it. You can see by the board behind me. You can see what's going on. $41 million in all the tournaments out there. The big one was definitely the International 8. Super excited to see that $25 million pot out there. But what you also got to look at is the fact that there was over 1,675 tournaments in 2018, totaling $150 million. Now, look, the folks at esportsearnings.com have put that information out there for us, and that's super cool, but it really means that the money is growing. People are getting into this gaming even more and more. Another thing you want to pay attention to is the ratings. You want to see those ratings continue eating up, inking up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit to the point in time people are like, oh, I really can see this. We've seen that trend. We've seen it going. We've seen some sports like, you know, League of Legends take a little bit of a hit because things are coming after it with Fortnite different pieces. But there's a lot of viewers out there. There's a lot of money out there. And in 2019, we expect to see more money. So if you want to get a chance to take a look at what the players are doing, take a look and see how the players are acting. You can see where their trends are. You can also see what the top teams are doing. This is super important to check out because this shows us where the investment's going to be, where the funding's going to be, and the more these players get a chance to get in and practice their game and work as a team, the better shot they have of making bigger bucks in 2019. So for 2018, pay attention to what happened to Dota 2. The International 8 was amazing. We love seeing what we're seeing, but we're looking for more money flowing into the game. That's an awesome experience. All right, let's get into some highlights. All right, for number five, we're looking at Invictus Gaming IG. They went to League of Legends World, and they won it all. 3-0 sweep. That's what you want to see. That's the kind of game we're looking at. Let's take a quick look at the highlights. Are your 
2018 world champion. See, that's what we're talking about. That's exactly what you expect out of IG. We're going to see more of them in 2019. Stay tuned for number four moment. For our number four moment, I'm looking at Overwatch League and what the London Spitfire team did. The cool thing about how they came from that run is the fact that it surprised you. That's what sports are supposed to do. You're not expecting them. You know, you were looking at a thing like maybe it's going to be New York, maybe it's going to be Los Angeles, but it came from London. That's what you want to see in sports. That's what makes it cool. That's why they are number four championship team. Let's take a look at the run and some of the best moments of 2018. Not doing anything though, London, they might have to give this one up. Profit dashing in with the song but trying to stay elusive, but it's not enough. Philadelphia Fusion, three points for them. And that looked an awful like, lot like Toronto in our series. First, the tank line there of the London Spitfire, not really a lot of healing possible, and then he's gonna pop through the hotel and use those back down onto the point right now. This tanky composition wants to be on the point. A Coalescence already comes in from the Doshin. Self-destruct, no kills out of that one. Neptuno a little bit of trouble, Fusion backing away, there goes Boombox, murdering, may just be able to do it on this Saria as well, they demet Poco, and wow, those changes from London did the trick, great adaptation, that's going to get the point A. They didn't want to play the Reinhardt yesterday because it's definitely not just your strongest hero, Ooh. Carpe will get staggered at the end of that fight. Hey, now this say. Carpe Carpe, right? That's carpe. what Profit did. He sees the Carpe. He definitely did. Now they're going to push forward again. Do play the Doom Fist. We will get these rocket punches that if you get hit into a wall, you will instantly die. Carpe with the massive Doom Fist place, and here's another fight. That's right, London coming in with the Coalescence of Moira Ultimate doing damage. They're going to drop the Graviton Surge too, and just roll right over Fusion. No chance there to defend that one. Neptuno drops so he can respawn with his team. Has his own gravitational surge. He's gonna go ahead and try to use it here. Ooh, the shatter got eaten, and meanwhile the shatter comes in from Gesture. They're gonna run right over Philly again. Carpe drops to the self-destruct. Man, they were ready for that one. They were read like a book. No, they knew really. the Graviton was coming, that it was up. Gesture set himself up for a flank because they were going to engage behind the Graviton. Not only does the Graviton do nothing. Point EQO there, but D-Mac right away. Sato down. It looks like the defense is falling apart at the last moment for the Philadelphia Fusion. London brawling it out right on the point. They want to finish with some time remaining, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Boombox stays alive with the fade for the moment. Delays, but not enough. London will finish with a minute 10 in the time bank. Ground two, meanwhile, Birdring. Go mm, back near spawn, getting those shots in. They're gonna jump on the shot, Sato he's down! London gets the main tank! Neptuno can't get there to res him. They only need one tick. They are so close. Philly desperate, but there goes Poco. And London Spitfire have done it! They will fly high as your Overwatch League champion! See, that's the kind of stuff you like seeing. Again, more and more and more. We're going to see more of that in 2019. Hope you're enjoying it. Stay tuned. we got some more highlights in a bit. Black Castle. A new live sport for the next generation. This is Tachyon, a fast, high-stakes arena game that will showcase our patent-pending infinite viewpoint technology. Tachyon is a real game that mixes physical action with digital esports. Our technology puts mobile AR and VR fans right on the court where they can access unparalleled player info. Viewers can create infinite camera angles putting them anywhere on the court. Tachyon offers a true one-of-a-kind fan experience. This is the ultimate reality sport of tomorrow. This is Tachyon.
This game is the combination of everything that I love, which is sports, video games, augmented reality. And I played basketball before, uh, and I love being competitive. It has a very video game -y, uh, feel to it because, you know, you getting blasted and you lose some of your mobility and stuff like that. Like, that's so cool. Like, I'm, you know, this is, this is like the ultimate game for a guy like me, a gamer and an athlete. My favorite thing about it is that it's co-ed. So, you know, of course, you know, I got the girl power going on and I don't have to just wait for the, the girl team or the guy team. Like, they're together. We're finally working together, both sexes, as a team. And, and there's something really, really progressive, really cool about that. All of that physicality, you, you wouldn't get in any other sport. It's, you know, it's, it's moving around, it's dodging, it's firing. So it's, it's, it's like being in a video game. You're like a first-person shooter. This feels like the future. It feels, it feels fresh. It feels... You know, like this is where we should have been like 10 years ago instead of watching the same things over and over again. Why haven't we created new sports? Why haven't we pushed the envelope? All right, let's do a little quick recap. Nah, let's just get right to it. Rocket League, number three. You know why? Because it's awesome to watch. You got cars flipping in the air. You got balls flying around. And this game, the championship game, went into overtime. You see rookies contributing. This is the kind of stuff you want to watch. This is sports. This is high drama. If you ain't checking out Rocket League, you're missing a lot. So let's get to the quick highlights. Looking for an opening, he's faked it out, it's not there! So smart with his gameplay, just needed to finish it. Every player faking each other out, they thought NRG would be there for that. Now Kaynot once again, tries to find a way through. Dignitas finding so much success in this final game with those passing plays. They wanted to work one more time. NRG though, holding their lines incredibly well. Garrett G, his shot is loose. K Dot drops it back down. No one is there. Find the Panda with the save. Just pushes it back into the blue side of the field. There's Justin. Everyone is being held back now. Find Panda puts it straight out. It's going to be over to K Dot. It's almost there. Follow Scott. The shot on the from K Dot. Season long, it's out support from Turbo. And he won't let up now. Four seconds left. NRG need this immediately. They've got the kickoff in their favor. Kato tries to clear. It is almost there. It just has to hit the floor. Final Panda puts it a long way. And it's almost there. Justin keeps it alive. Turbo puts it there. Bounces it. Into the corner. NRG still around. Justin is there for the shot. Justin! Justin! This is Rocket League. of the year! Ladies and gentlemen, my voice is gone, but my spirit is high. We have overtime. k takes control. Wants to go the long way. Next goal is the RLCS World Championship. Turbo Pulse with it up high. Gets the flick. Turbo! Time world champion. Oh, that was so awesome. I can't wait for more. I can't wait to see what the number one and two moments are. Wait a minute. I know, but you don't, but they're coming. See you in a bit. Black Castle. A new live sport for the next generation. This is Tachyon, a fast, high-stakes arena game that will showcase our patent-pending infinite viewpoint technology.
Tachyon is a real game that mixes physical action with digital esports. Our technology puts mobile AR and VR fans right on the court where they can access unparalleled player info. Viewers can create infinite camera angles, putting them anywhere on the court. Tachyon offers a true one-of-a-kind fan experience. This is the ultimate reality sport of tomorrow. This is Tachyon. All right, folks, my number two moment in 2018 for eSports, it's Cloud9 claiming the E-League Championship with CSGO. This game has been around, as you know, for ages, but you know what? It just doesn't age. It's such a cool game to watch. So I love watching Rip. I love watching the competition. Just keep it up, Cloud9. You've watched them draw. You've watched them on a roll. 2019 is going to be an even better year for them. Anyway, so there it is. Cloud9 take a one-round lead, moving into the second half again. First team to 22 rounds wins this major. This is an absolute roller coaster. It's like they weren't scared, to everybody. they weren't afraid. They didn't over rotate. They barely rotated at all. Even when FaZe Clan pushed when there were only two people, on, two people on B, Cloud9 managed to prevail. Can they do it again? Moving quickly towards the A site. Rain is blind, and Tarek will take him down. And there goes Paragon as well. Early start for Cloud9, but can FaZe recover? I'm also trying to play the smoke here, but it's going to be difficult. He's lost two teammates in the effort. There needs to be flashes for him. They have no grenades left. Oh, that's a good snap. Can he find Rush, though? It's going to get Rush, and all of a sudden it's equalized. Skadoodle back against the site. No support in the corner with the AWP. Well, do they realize this? I think he's been spotted now. He does have a smoke to play with. He can delay them. If he can occupy their attention long enough, his teammates can make the play. Just by staying there, he's a threat! Oh my goodness, Skadoodle does it with automatic! My God! Do you know what that noise means, That It means it's match point Cloud9 again. Do they have enough to take it over the line this time? From Cloud9. And Stewie still has a smoke grenade towards the B-bomb site once again, but he needs to deploy it soon. We're reaching the sub 40 second mark. And look at his position. I'm not sure what's going on in CT, but he needs to get that smoke out. 35 seconds. That smoke could win them the major if he gets it out. But he's holding the angle. He's got the smoke in his hand. And the smoke is down towards B bomb site. The rapper's been stopped. There are advantages for Cloud9 now. Five versus four. Three taken down. All smashing on the high ground. Dropping off. They need to hold construction. Are there flashes there? Will they push? They will regress. Down goes for the Spicer. Guardian and the rain remain. All smashing pushing through. It's Guardian versus two. Can he do it again? He's been in this position before to win phase around a very important, a very crucial one. Can he deny Cloud9? We saw it from this position before. He cannot miss a single shot. Guardian waits patiently as Cloud9 sets the push up. Oh! Oh, this happens! They made it work! Cloud9 are your E League major champions! Sets the push up. Oh! Oh, this happens! They made it work! Cloud9 are your E League major champions! That is the most insane way to win a major. It could hardly have been more difficult. They weren't the favorites. They were the underdogs. They were a heavy underdog, but they did it for North America. Skadoodles won the major! This has to be one of the most incredible storylines we've ever had. A North American team in North America with a major win. That is truly incredible. The class, resilience, the strength, time and again that they've shown is something very special indeed. The best Cloud9 we have ever seen with the most difficult run.
Cloud9, the E-League Major Champions. A new live sport for the next generation. This is Tachyon, a fast, high-stakes arena game that will showcase our patent-pending infinite viewpoint technology. Tachyon is a real game that mixes physical action with digital esports. Our technology puts mobile, AR, and VR fans right on the court where they can access unparalleled player info. Viewers can create infinite camera angles putting them anywhere on the court. Tachyon offers a true one-of-a-kind fan experience. This is the ultimate reality sport of tomorrow. This is Tachyon. This game is the combination of everything that I love, which is sports, video games, augmented reality. And I played basketball before, uh, and I love being competitive. It has a very video game uh, feel to it because, you know, you getting blasted and you lose some of your mobility and stuff like that. Like, that's so cool. Like, I'm, you know, this is, this is like the ultimate game for a guy like me, a gamer and an athlete. My favorite thing about it is that it's co-ed. So, you know, of course, you know, I got the girl power going on and I don't have to just wait for the, the girl team or the guy team. Like, they're together. We're finally working together, both sexes, as a team. And, and there's something really, really progressive, really cool about that. All of that physicality, you, you wouldn't get in any other sport. It's, you know, it's, it's moving around, it's dodging, it's firing. So it's, it's, it's like being in a video game. You're like a first-person shooter. This feels like the future. It feels, it feels fresh. It feels... You know, like, this is where we should have been, like, 10 years ago, instead of watching the same things over and over again. Why haven't we created new sports? Why haven't we pushed the envelope? My number one moment of the year is OG beating LGD in TI8. That's the International 8 with Dota 2. They took home $11 million of the $25 million prize pool. Hey, if you want to figure out the top moments in esports, money talks. Let's get to the highlights. Spin box RP. set, goes with the RP, dragging back the Kunku. Can they kill off Somnus? He's very tanky with that heart. It looks like he'll be fine. They'll get the chalice jump with the lasso onto the Ember Spirit, the FY Echo Slab as well, onto Anna. Can they actually kill him off? They don't have the damage. Anna's able to get the slider fist out. There'll be a buyback from Thompson. It's Jarrett, the solar fissure onto two. Sets up for the double kill. Anna, he's found two, and OG looking for more. Seb trying to hunt down Somnus. The dust upon him. Seb's got the skew. He's got the blink up. Can he peel him back towards his teammates? He can't quite catch him. Somnus will be able to back up a no tap. He's in with the Sprout, the Chains, the, the chains. setup's there, Anna closing in, he'll be forced to the side, Somnus, can he get himself back to the fountain, he'll turn, he'll clean out the summons there with the tiebringer hit, Tops but he's back. stuck in the tree line, Anna just going for the kill, is Somnus still alive? They get themselves now a bigger target, potentially Arme, Arme, he's sprouted, he has got something, can he get it off, he can't! Arme cut down, as the tier falls now, being taken by OG, there's all the time the hits, people the chalice! It's another down! Oh gee, can they get Somnus, Somnus? He's doing his best to hold 10 seconds before he's got teammates back in set. Peeling Somnus away from the fountain, and is on top of it, Somnus. Down to half health, he's trying to retrieve with the chains! They get themselves another Somnus taken down! Azame with a BKB reflection. Anna starting to be forced back, they have got X Nova and FY back in the game now. No Echo Slam or Global, the Ancient is exposed. As OG, the Nimbus no, Sound, the Shockwave from Zeb, gets themselves another, they're onto the Ancient. Oh, gee. Oh, 
They've done, done, they they done, done it. They have done it. Done it. The power of flowers and friendship. I've done it here, ladies and gentlemen. Your grand champions of TIA. It's OG. Can you believe it? OG, a team wow. tipped by some to be the 18th most likely to win TI, and they've just gone and done I, it. They don't believe it. You look at them in the booth, they look they've stunned. They've just gone and done it. That was... A team that was shaken up months before this event. They just Ripped formed. Apart. They just reformed this team. Thompson, he's only been playing for a couple of days. His earnings were $3,000 before this. Oh, my goodness. OG. Congratulations. Oh, gee. I wish we could keep going, but go get the ages. It's yours. Rogers Arena. Cinderella story ain't got nothing on this. Oh, gee. Your team. All right, folks, coming up after this break, we're going to show you some really cool stuff that's going to blow your mind. Or at least I hope it does. It'll be cool. Come on back. Black Castle. All right, folks, CGI Mark 7 here with Sugar Gamers, Black Castle Esports. Want to show you something really cool. Want to look back in 2018 and focus on the money. The money is what moves esports along. And one of the best examples we see is how Valve runs Dota 2. The International 8 this year came in. Valve started with $1.6 million into the pot. They started selling digital assets, started pulling in choices for a compendium, and what do you know, fans contributed, get this, $23,932,177. Look at that graph! That's crazy! The fans are putting their money in it. You know what that means as a player? That means if you go into this match, if you qualify for TI8, you know you're going to get paid. You know you got a shot to make some big money, and $11 million is a lot of money. But don't count on second place. Look at that $4 million for second place, 2.6 or third. That's what's going on in esports. We love seeing the money. We want more titles to be out there like that, more tournaments like that, because the way they run TI8, man, that money is going right to the players, and that is the stuff you want to see. Black Castle. Welcome back in. Black Castle Esports here with Sugar Gamers. Having a lot of fun. Can't wait to show you what's next. Black Castle. All right, everybody. I'm going to take a moment in the show just to talk about Fortnite. Yes, it's a global phenomenon. Yes, we love what they're doing. But the thing to pay attention to is the money that is starting to go to players. In this year alone, they went from zero to the top three payouts. That's amazing. You could have been playing all those other games, but if you just jumped into Fortnite, you can make some cash. That's what sports is about. It's about having fun gaming and actually being able to make a living with it. So you're starting to see players get in there. You're starting to see stuff turn your heads. And Fortnite is not saying, oh, let's jam it all into one event. They're putting multiple one events out there where money is being made. Yeah, they're going to have an amazing event in 2019. But the entire calendar, that's what we're looking forward to with Fortnite. We're thanking Epic so much. And we can't wait to see huge stadiums and people full watching this global phenomenon. This thing is amazing. Black Castle. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching the show. Have a great 2019. Super excited for what's going to happen in esports. This next year is going to be amazing. We're out.
Black Castle.